Hello my dear students, today I am going to teach environmental science of class 3 EVAs. So, so far we have completed up to lesson number 6. We will follow the lesson number 6 for the point number. We will give the evaluation of the question and we will answer the question of the TVU and uh, go through your study material also. And if you have any doubt, doubt later get the Google Google Meet ki class ta clear the way ani. So we na si ki topic si how jenga ida. Let me help you to remember some basic ideas which will help you to understand today's topic. So uh, do you do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? What is its name? What is its name? Pet lairega di Aming kai kawi Tommy wo hai gira Zai Jackie wo hai gira If you have dog You home my Aming kai kawi Next What are Domestic Animals what are domestic animals? Domestic animals have the kind of Masi ki idea si ha na ka galaya bani Yum dalo ibisabu domestic animals Yum dalo ibisabu domestic animals ko hi Domestic animals na tawa dhani wild animals hai si na Yum dalo ibisabu na tawa Jangal da kaida pham pham dhu umbudu no wild animals ko hi So masi tam doi si ya koi na The world of animals Hai yo taan si the world of animals the world of animals and this is lesson number seven you see lesson number seven you will find this lesson page number 43 and over lesson number how many so i think you have some basic ideas about pet then domestic animals who have had a lot of money in the world. The world of animals. Animals ki matang ni kone tam doi si. So let's start. So in your textbook you will find in page number 43. In the starting of the lesson you will find to differentiate domestic animals and wild animals. Pictures are given in your textbook. You have to write D for domestic animals and W for wild animals. So in the starting of the lesson, you will find some pictures in which you have to distinguish domestic animal and wild animal. Domestic and in domestic, if it is domestic animal, you have to write D. If it is wild animal, you have to write W. So in this particular lesson, lesson number seven, we have uh, seven subtopics, and today we will discuss only four subtopics. Now, see, lesson six, the subtopic three, Jawi. I mean, on the topic, masa masa three, Jawi. Masi da ko ni ngasin ni nedo isi topic madi khatni. So today, only four subtopics we will discuss. Top subtopic madi khatni se. Any, let's start with the first subtopic of lesson number seven. That is, that is big and small animal. Big and small animal. Big and small animals. Big and small animals. As the mummy is not a big hierarchy. Mummy is not a big hierarchy. So, what small hierarchy? A big part. So, in page number 43, you will find. 
three types of animals are given in your textbook. Makalahum ni PC. Very big heaven pire. Very big animals heaven pire. Then big animals heaven pire. Big animals. Big animals. Then very small animals. Then very small animals. Very big animals have a ma. Big animals have a ma. Very small animals have a ma. See the three types of animals are given according to their size. So animals of different size live live on the earth. So based on the size of the animals, three types are given in your textbook. Number one is very big animal. Number two is big animals, and number three is very small animals. Very big animals. So over the KKP giraffe. 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 Elephant. Very big animal. Then big animals. Big animals. Lion. Bear. Then very small animals, the Maripire, four examples of very small animals are given in which ant, rat, and cat is also given, monkey is also given. So this is according to the size. So in the next page, page number 44, you will find an important point which is, which is also highlighted by yellow background. See the Kayhare? The blue whale is the biggest animal on the earth. Quite a bit animals you can know how to the blue whales. Then animal how to elephant to idini. Adun na tragedy biggest animal is the blue whales. The blue whale is the is the biggest. The blue whale is the biggest animal. So the blue whale is the biggest animal on the earth. It lives in oceans. The biggest land animal on the earth is the African elephant. The biggest land animal. Land animal the blue whale the ocean is in the lake. Land animal and it one hangadi. Biggest land animal is the African elephant. African elephant. African elephant, you know? biggest land animal. So, I think it's all was Hanagadi. The blue whale is the biggest animal on the earth. Do not biggest land animal in Hanagadi. Blue whale, the sing the ocean, the living number of Modena land animal, the African elephant in Oydoni. So, this point is given in page number 44 of the textbook. And which is also highlighted by yellow background. And after that, some questions are given, which you have to complete in your textbook. And the second topic is how animals move. Second topic is how animals move. So in the starting of the lecture, I have already told you that this lesson contains seven subtopic, and today we will discuss only four of them. Four, four subtopics. So the second topic is how animals, how animals move, how animals move. Animals in si mapong mo dahil mapong mo dahil kamay ni sa ni hay bi matang dani. Ako na masig to pito na nito si animals in si mapong mo dahil mapong mo dahil kamay ni sa ni. So few examples are given in your textbook and let's start with the which is let's start with the points which are given in your textbook. Animals move from one place to another to find to find food. So the reason, 
So the reason of uh, movement of animals from one place to another is to find food. Food and shelter is even you take shelter life from God. So the reason of movement. Animals in to find food and shelter. Food shelter and to escape from their enemies also. To escape, which is also very important. To escape from their enemies. To escape from their enemies. How do they move? The and the question is. So, uh, some uh, so the starting, so in the starting of the uh, topic, uh, it is given that it is given. What is given in the textbook? The reason is given for the movement. Animals in China, chatli si mapom dem mapom the chat pi manam ni pi. The reason for the movement of animals is given in your textbook, and the reason is to find food, shelter. And also to escape from the enemies. So the question is, how do they move? Upon them, upon mother, kamaina chaliyam. Do they have legs? How many? Nakong pandra palagadi kya pali? Ani pandra taruk pandra nipan pandra kya pali? Hami batang din na tushi. So let's start with the example. So a few pictures are given in your textbook and some points are written by uh, green ink and examples are written with the uh, blue ink. So the first example is fish and snake. Fish and snake is given in your textbook. Fish. Fish and snake is given in your textbook. First example. Some animals like the fish and the snake though they do not have legs do not have legs fish move with the help of fins and tails fish take the matter fins and tail fins and tails they do not have legs and regarding fish they move with the help of fins and tails and what about the snakes Snakes wrinkle on the ground. Snakes wrinkle on the ground. Wrinkle on the ground. So the first example given in your textbook is a fish and snake. And we and when we discuss about the movement of fish and snake, both do not have legs, Mukung Yaude. And when we discuss specifically about fish. They move with the help of fins and tails, and about snake, they wrinkle on the ground. Next is duck and emu is given. Birds, duck and emu. Duck and emu. Duck. duck and emu. So birds have two legs that help them to swim. Birds ki matang di. Two legs. So birds have a duck and emu. Two legs that help them to swim. Swim. Nanu di swim to hunga mi. In the water, perch on tree or walk and run on the ground. And most of the birds they have wings which help them to fly. And most of the birds they have wings which help them to fly. Next is cat and zebra. Cat and zebra. 
get in zebra get in zebra so most land animals like the cat zebra and lion have four legs land animals see anambu na land animals sing see four legs you so which help them to walk which help them to run jump next is ant and bee ant here b kaksing amadi khoi insect sing jai ta insects like the ant mosquito and bee have they have six legs no ko yawi for the movement they have six legs hontro pa hu sine ko insect hai si then spider octopus spider si insect sing bra hai sing de hai jani no ko mu ni taru he na pan bigini spider spider octopus they have eight legs which have them locomotion hagida which have them to move eight legs then caterpillar and millipedes i'm given in your textbook caterpillar caterpillar millipedes Mukhongyam pan kambudani caterpillar millipede. Some animals like the caterpillar, centipedes and millipedes have many legs that help them to crawl. Mani mukhongyam pan many legs. The most important one is that they can actually crawl. So these are the examples of the movement of the animals. Okay, uh, we have uh, seven subtopics in this lesson. So we will not discuss uh, four subtopics. We will discuss only three subtopics today. As the subtopic Marie Nenaroi, Ahum Katang Nenarsi. Subtopic Ahum Katang. Next topic is what. animals what animals eat kk chai so based based on the uh, food they eat animals can be categorized into the animals can be divided into some groups so we will discuss types of animals based on their food Masih dapat ni nanti di sini kena Harvey Vors ni nanti Harvey Vors, you can say Harvey Vors will discuss Carnivores, then Omnivores, then Scavengers. So we will discuss four types of animals, which is divided based on their food. Food habit, hai tar. Mungi macam ni jaga siapa lagi, mungi matung ni na, mana dapat lagi matung ni na. Animals ni si makhluk mana yang thulak hai tuh? Herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers. And one topic is highlighted by yellow background, which is ruminants. Ruminants. Types of animals based on their food. Tadi nato, adi tadi makhluk mana yang si lagi? Lagi ruminants, hai nama supiri. So we will have to use the karam of makalki animal now. Carnivores is in the karam of makalki no haiti karam ba jinjak chai. Omnivores in the karam of jinjak chai. Scavengers in the karam of jinjak chai. Have you got that? Then you can see that. Do you see? Slow. So let's start with the herbivores. Herbivores. Take a look. See. Herbivores. Sorry. Herbivores. Herbivores is in the current was hand right there. Most of the animals they get food or animals get their food from plants and other animals. 
Sun animals eat only plants. Harvey was cited in the book animal. No, I tell only plants. Sun sun. Or Harvey was cited in animals that eat only plants. Sun sun. See, what is Harvey was go. Kuda mo na Harvey da elephant gumba, cow gumba, deer gumba. Ship come. See me. I'm see. Harvey Vors not Next is carnivores. Next is carnivores. Next is carnivores. Carnivores and carnivores. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Some animals like the cheetah, lion, and eagle. Hunt animals and eat their flesh. Eat flesh of other animals like that. Eat flesh of other animals. Animals that eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores. Carnivores the animals that hunt. Animals that eat a flesh of other animals. Atopa sajabudubu. When a carnivores go eat. Hunter River Sadhana Hunter River Sadhana predators Kobe The animals that hunt other animals are known as predator the animals that they hunt Chana Machinja Uidori Viduna Food Machinja Uidori Viduna Prey Kobe So regarding the carnivores Next is Carnivores are the animals that eat flesh of other animals. So while trying to get their food, animals that hunt other animals are known as predators. Hunt or ibusaduna predators kobi. The animals that they hunt are called prey. Predators in China hunt or ibusa. Hari mo yung machinjak uiduri ba saduna prey kobi. So chita, when you look at your textbook, you will find picture of a cheetah which gets very close to its prey before chasing it. Deer. Cheetah aduna deer do tanari me photo picture me yao ni laita. Madu do cheetah aduna predator hai do ni deer aduna prey hoi do ni. So one point is highlighted in page number 45 which is remnant. Remnant zani. Remnant zani kenyo yang hasi. Ruminance. So animals like the cow and deer are known as ruminants. Ruminants. Cow gumba. Deer gumba si. Cow gumba. Deer gumba si. Ruminants kawi. Are known as ruminants. Ruminants hai di karma makal ki saan wa hai matanda. Which quickly swallow their food but let them bring it back to their mouth to chew it properly. Quickly swallow. Yam thuna your son give quickly swallow to be Maduna Chava Tumbalo Abraham Dinati which quickly swallow their food but let them bring it back to the mouth. Bring it back to the Kuanamu bring it back to the mouth. Umputova Saibu and in detail you will learn in the higher class kamaina when you know the stomach the chamber kya lehi ka hai na chao ka na tamaka ni but as of now according to uh, according to your uh, class uh, class 3 or mnp even in a the only point you should remember is that cow and there are remnants remnants ikano makhal ki saan no hai taraga di which uh, swallow their food quickly, but later quantity bring it back to their mouth to chew it properly. Amu lautho aga amu phasena sai. Madhu mas animals sindhu ko kani ruminants kawiye. Next is omnivores. Omnivores. Omnivores hai dikhaan mukhali saan hai yezi. You will find this topic in page number 46, Omnivores. 
So some animals like the crow and bear is given in your textbook as an example. It both plants and animals. Animals that eat animals that eat both plants and animals. Animals are so animals that eat animals that eat only plant to herbivores animals that eat a flesh of other animals to carnivores plants to flesh of other animals to animal job madugumba animals simply the equina omnivores going omnivores the animal job cow and beer across sorry crow cow the herbivores ni crow and beer is given in your textbook as an example Next is uh, scavengers. 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 Is in the garden, local animals we eat. See some animals like the hyena, vulture, and fox is given as an example in your textbook that eat the dead and decaying animals. That eat. Dead and decaying animal. Asiba, apumba. Dead and decaying animals. Asiba, apumba, sa, sa, ba, madugumba animals. Tu ba kwenye scavenger ka wii. Example, hyena, vulture and fox. They are all scavengers. So you will learn about scavengers in detail in the higher classes. Tamakani, mukhoi si yam namaru wai for cleaning of the forest kind. Forest jungle da sa sira kanda pat laga pumbaga maram nam thi maram nam thi rakani mo ne sa thoga sheng do yi kanda they are the cleaner of the they are the cleaner kanda the makani so they eat death and decaying animals carnivores ke scavengers ke khena risi carnivores thi they hunt their food scavengers na death and decaying animals chao so with this I'll summarize what we have learned today. I see topic marine and see only three topics. The remaining four topics will be discussed in the next class. So with this, I'll summarize what we have learned today. So so far we have discussed about so far we have discussed that depending depending on their size. Depending on their size, animals can be classified as very big, big, and very small, small, very small, small, very small. Small and very small. Big, uh, very big, big, small, and very small. And very small. Very big the elephant, giraffe, big the lion, small the palodrom male, small the small the cat, monkey. Then very small the ant red, very big. Hare Krishna, I'm chowwa. Any big Hare Krishna, chowwa. Small Hare Krishna, pickpa. Very small Hare Krishna, yam the pickpa. See, in the starting of the lecture, I've already mentioned, but but, as I say, mistakenly I have skipped small animals. I skipped the word of male. The sukai the small Hare Krishna, pickpa the ni. Example the cat ka monkey ka pira ni the exhibit ta. Then uh, we have discussed movement. Animals keep movement. Kai movement to you know the reason to find food, shelter, and to escape from the enemies. Tagi movement the crawling ni matang the swim ni matang the. Tagi walk run lonely mag. 
And last one, sing it depending on their food. Food habit height. Depending on their food habit. Depend, depending on their food habit, animals can be classified as Haitanico. Animals can be classified as herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers. So the last part is evaluation. So this question will help you to check whether you have understand the topic or not. Give two examples of big animals. Give two examples of big animals. Question number two. What is the difference? What is the difference between what is the difference between predators and prey? So please try to find out the answers of these questions. This question, uh, which will this will help you to check check whether we understand the topic or not. So with this I conclude my lecture. Thank you. The remaining part will be discussed in the next class. Thank you.